What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now Plus, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to quickly talk about Solar Ash. Uh, this is my Sunday video for this channel where I try to go off the beaten path uh, just for a little bit. And this is a game that I've been interested in uh, for a while. I cannot say that I've been into it since it was first you know, shown to us because I just wasn't. And this is a game I commonly have forgotten about, but every time I see it, every time I do look it up, uh, I, I casually, I would say, every few days or maybe once a week uh, at, at the least, least go on wikipedia just to make sure i don't forget anything in terms of games that are releasing and so i'll look at 2021 i'll look at the given year we're at i'll look at the months and weeks ahead and solar ash i've seen you know countless times obviously because we're getting close to it and every time i've clicked on it i always think you know i, I kind of remember this game i kind of remember the name but what was it and a few weeks back i went back to watch you know some gameplay and some trailers of this game i was like oh shoot that's the game i thought that's what it was but i wasn't 100 percent sure and i'm really excited for this game now granted how excited can i be if i constantly forget about its existence and forget to attach the stuff that i've seen to the game's name you could you can counter me with that and, and there's nothing wrong with that uh to me this is a game i've said this before art style and the kind of gameplay that it is it's going to grab me most often, like every single time, o almost every single time. If you have a game like Solar Ash, you're immediately going to get me at least looking in your direction. Do you know what I mean? Uh, to me, it, well, I guess what's funny about it is, remember the game The Pathless? The Pathless literally came out like one year ago, and sometimes I've actually gotten the two confused because I thought Solar Ash was The Pathless, because when you watch Solar Ash, and then if you watch The Pathless, which I do own, by the way, and it's a great game. It's beautiful. It plays really, really well, and that's exactly what Solar Ash looks like. So I'm not saying, you know, they're copying, or I'm not saying you're playing the exact same game again, but uh, I would say the same thing I said for uh, for The Pathless as I would for, for Solar Ash. Basically, it's a faster journey. It's really like Journey. That I think Journey is probably no. I don't. I haven't seen any interviews or any kind of developer diaries with either of uh, of those two games. But I assume if you ask the people, Journey has got to be some sort of like you know thing that it's looked up to. You know what I mean? A, a, like a model because you watch how the character moves, the quickness, the floatiness to a character, uh, which I, I think Solar Ash probably has the least of of the three, but it still does have it. It reminds me, it should remind you, I would say, very, very much of Journey. I would say if Journey didn't happen, I don't know if these two games would happen. You know what I mean? So uh, that's, that. honestly, that's kind of it. Much like... I would say I had the same idea with the Pathless, where I was sold on the visuals. Um, you know, nothing massively spectacular. Yet again, Journey didn't visually look like the greatest game of all time, but just the visual aesthetic of Journey made it so special, so beautiful, so amazing. I mean, Journey is one of the, I would say, the best games that have ever been created, in my opinion. And in the visuals, I do think have a big part to play in that. But that's the thing. Like, I think you can just kind of assume. Maybe it's wrong to assume, but I think you can assume. You know, the Pathless and you know. Pathless was, I ended up becoming it, but you know, going into it, the Pathless and now Solar Ash, you know, they got the visual thing down, and the gameplay is I mean, it looks, at least for this game, it looks very rewarding. It looks very, very fun. It looks like you can string together things. And then everything else kind of, at least for me, for the path list, and I'm going to do the same thing here, You kind of, I'm just going to kind of let the rest of the stuff you know, happen organically. Like when I'm playing, I'll figure out the additional stuff that I, I think will probably make it very, very unique. I'll figure out the story, you know, whether I like it or not, but just to kind of get in there. Now, I don't know... The price, I don't really know if it's anywhere, but if you guys you know, know, let me know. I feel like this should only be like a 30 or so dollar game. I believe the path list was 40, which I do think was probably too much, considering you look at a game like Journey or the path list or Solar Ash. Back in the day, you'd probably assume it's like a 20 25 30 dollar game so i'm hoping it's not anything more than that uh, because i don't think the pathless did like spectacular yet again this is you know it's a smaller game well, let's not kid ourselves this is a smaller game this is not going to sell you know five million copies i'd be shocked if it sold one million copies right but it's a game that, that's on my radar it's not the same level as like kana was right when kana bridge of spirits was announced that that day i was in i was in and i was a massive backer and supporter of that game from that day on to when it released, and it actually held up and, and uh, reached my expectations. This game, I'm not going to pretend like, you know, again, I've, I've been supporting it since day one because I constantly do forget about it, but it is one of those games I think that uh, I want to pay attention to. I don't want to slip by. I believe it comes out December 2nd, 
So I don't want to go through, you know, November, play Battlefield, you know, play Pokemon, play all these games, and then you just completely forget about it, go through December, play Halo Infinite, you know, on the 8th, watch the Game Awards on the 9th, and say, oh, shoot, I forgot that this game came out a week ago. And it's like, well, now do I even play? I, I hope that doesn't happen. I don't really want it to happen. So I'm hoping to get it, and I, I hope it's a special a special thing. Again, these, these games, to me, maybe they'll never live up to Journey, but they obviously are doing their own thing. I'm not going to go in there pretending like this is Journey 2 or this game has to be exactly like Journey. I'm saying, though, the way... I don't know, a game like this just pulled it all together and just made really a cultural impact, one game of the of the year and all that stuff. I don't think games like The Pathless and Solar Ash will do that or have done that, but I want, to, I want it to. You know what I mean? It's been a while since a game like Journey has done that. Journey's really the only one. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. I do a brand new video on the channel every single day. And so I hope to see you guys for tomorrow's video.